So let's jump start you to flatter abs. The main thing about exercise is you must know tempo, timing, and syncopation. So I will be teaching you that through the duration of the exercises. And we're going to do it in a half time and a double time so we can get a nice burn and we can trim that waistline. So we're going to start with the forward crunch. Lay on your back with your feet wider than your hips so you're working at a strong platform. Drop your lower back into the floor with your arms nice and wide. Now a couple of things to notice about quality movement. You never want to pull your head or protrude your face forward. Just relax your head right at the stem and pull your whole body using the rectus abdominis, which is the top area of your abs, which is also called the six pack. So we're going to start here and we're going to do a half time phrase. Tick the top, eight, tap, seven, six, and five. Nice starting position. Keep the flat through your abdominals. Drop that navel in. Now let's take double time. Five, six, seven, eight, and lift. Two, keeping the shoulders off of the floor. Exhale on the lifting and inhale on the lower. While we're working double time, you always want to breathe at half time. Four, three, two, and lower down. Stretch the arms out and inhale, exhale. And a lot of times in abdominals, we count in a two eight count phrasing. So that's really important to know. Now what we're going to do is take the side crunch. We're still going to be in the same position. We're taking the elbows out and apply that pressure into that lower back. And we're going to take right elbow to left, left elbow to right. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and lift that halftime phrase up and down. Really tuck that elbow. A lot of direction. Really take it there. And three, and two. Let's take double time, no rocking the body. And lift, two, and three. Working the obliques, which trims down that beautiful line, creating that lovely space. Four, no strenuous tension through the neck. And lower down. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. So once you feel that sense of burn, that's called hypertrophy. That is the essential breakdown of breaking down the old muscles to build new. So now what we're going to do is the reverse crunch. We're going to start with our knees at a 90 degree angle, feet are pointed, and we're going to keep that light touch behind the head. We're going to bring the body in like an accordion. You're going to stress through the quadricep, keeping your lower back pressed into the floor. If the lower back tends to lift, just lift your legs a little bit higher. Here we go, in a half time phrase, two eight counts, two. Out, in, press, taking the inner parts of the elbows to the outer parts of the knees, and out, keeping the feet parallel, two, let's take double time, two counts of eight, here we go, in, two, three, four, don't forget to breathe, tucking the coccyx bone off of the floor, keep lifting, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and lower down. Hug yourself, give yourself a deep squeeze. Take a deep breath and oxygenate all those working muscles. Now, hip raises are really fun for me because this is the weakest part of the abdominal family. So you can do this while the laundry's going, while the dishes are going, anytime that you have rest at home. So let's take our feet upward. You're gonna keep your knees slightly bent to take the stress off of your lower back. Keep your feet pointed. And again, keep that lower back nice and deep into the floor. Hands are to your side. Now, no assisting through the neck and shoulders, so everything is rested at the top. Only working the navel down into the floor. Let's take a half time, two eight counts. Here we go. One, two. Now, tucking into the lower abdominals is what you want to do. Keep that steady, productive movement as you're breathing. Inhale, exhale. Lifting, slowly lowering. So you're working the upward and downward motion. So your abdominals are never disengaged. We're taking two more slow. Now let's take double time. Really tuck it nice and deep. And two, three, four, five. You should feel a great burn there. Woo! This is one of my favorite ones. Keeping that lower tummy nice and flat. Eight, seven, six, Five, and your thighs are squeezed. Keep your legs nice and straight. Two, and lower down. Nice, beautiful. Another deep hug, deep squeeze. Now, this next exercise is really awesome to really accentuate your sides. So we're gonna take a knee side crunch, and 
And what you're going to do is you're going to look over your right hip and you're going to take the arms outward. Now this is very important as well. Keeping your abdominals nice and tight throughout the workout really decreases the stress of the neck. So just allow your neck to relax and don't worry about how high you come up. It's the quality, not the quantity, once again. So let's take that position, starting position, feet are together, inner thighs are tight, and the outer thighs are nice and adjusted. You're going to keep pulling up and down. Two eight counts. Palms are facing forward up to the ceiling. Right shoulder is off of the floor. The left shoulder is on the floor for support. Two. Let's double time. Five, six, seven, eight, and lift. Two, three, four. So you should really feel that pressure throughout that one little area. Four more times. Four, three, two, and relax. Good job. Take that breather. Arms are up overhead. This really allows uh, the production of your abdominals to work faster as you do your sets. Take a deep breath. Maybe take 20 seconds through your breaks and start on the other side. So we're going to do knee side crunch. Knees to the right, feet are to the left, pointed together, arms are up. Here we go. Take half time and lift up. So the upper lat on the right side is pressed into the floor and take your chin towards that left side of the hip. Take four, and three, two, and let's take double time. Here we go, and lift, two. Now keep your stability while in motion. Really wanna squeeze, push, upward. Don't be afraid, this is burn is what you want. Lifting, four, three, two, and lower down. Good work, everyone. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, stretching those legs. And once again, when you're doing abdominals, no sharp or rapid movement. Keep it fluid and flow motion. And you will see yourself in no time with flatter abs and a stronger body. Thank you, guys.